Hey everybody, I'm Rick. Welcome to Talking Habs. Welcome to my Game 4 preview of the 2021 Stanley Cup Finals between the Montreal Canadiens and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Tampa is up three games to none, so Montreal's back to the wall, and they need the win tonight. So hey everybody, so um, I'm going to give you my preview uh, for this game. I have a bunch of stats for you. I have some quotes from uh, Brendan Gallagher. I have the lineup changes, and yes, there are lineup changes. And I also have the guess, my guess for the guess the score contest, and that's if you guess the score of the game and the first goal scorer of the game, you can win a ten dollar prize directly in your bank account via Interact. So we'll leave your guesses in the comment section, and I will give you mine at the end of the game. Um, also, want to mention that. My pregame show will be at 7 o'clock, so I do about 45 minutes. We're going to talk about the game and uh, anything that might have come up in between right now and the game <laughs> or and my show. And also the game, Game 4 Live Hangout at 8 o'clock. And we'll be a bunch of us will be in there and we'll be, um, you know, hanging out, talking about the game. Hopefully it's going to be a good result. We're going to have a great time. So hope to see you there. Um, let's see what else we got there here. I'm also going to go over, since I didn't do a review of game three, I'll go over quickly my thoughts on game three, I guess. And, um, yeah, so we're going to do all that. And before we get to that, please leave that guess the score com comment in the comment section and any other comments you may have about this video. Give a thumbs up if you like the video. And if you're new to the channel and you're a Habs fan like I am, and you want to see all kinds of different Habs videos, um, all through the off season, and all through the season, uh, please subscribe, ring that notifications bell, and that is going to get you your daily fix of Blue Blonde Rouge right here at Dog and Abs. That's my newest t-shirt. Um, there's a link if you're interested in the t-shirts. There's a link in the description for the store. Go check that out, and let's get right into the video. We're going to start with that game on uh, <laughs> game three, which was not a great game for Montreal. And uh, in a game where they really needed to win, I mean, they almost absolutely needed to win. And um, Tampa kind of came out and said, nope. Mm -hmm. And they got the first two goals um, within, like, the first few minutes. Let's take a look at the goals here. Uh, yeah, within uh, 327, they were up by 2-0. And, um, yeah, so 152 in. Jan Ruda gets his second from Palat and Hedman. Um, I'm not going to go over it. I, like, I don't remember it exactly, and I'm not going over it. Um, it's just a game I want to forget uh, going into this one because uh, there's no no need to dwell on it. I didn't do the review. Uh, my dad's in the hospital, so I've been kind of busy with that all weekend. That's why I didn't do the review. And, uh, yeah, I don't really want to dwell on it too much. Uh, power play goal came up next at 327 of the first from Victor Hedman. That's his second from Kucherov and Chirelli. Um, Montreal was able to have the a lead half. Cut the lead in half. That's what I should say. Uh, Phil Deneau gets his first. Um, that one I remember. It's like a backhand. I believe it was a backhand. Um, bounces off one post, off the other, and went in. Mm -hmm. And so um, a pinball goal. Uh, makes it 2-1. to one. That's at 11-16. Uh, second period, 140 in. Kucherov gets his eighth from Palat and Chernak. Uh, and then... Uh, at 3.33, Tyler Johnson gets his third from Joseph and Savard, David Savard. And then at 18.04, Nick Suzuki gives us hope again with his seventh from Petrie and Caulfield. And um, go into the third period. And at 15.19, basically, Tyler Johnson puts it away with his fourth goal. Um, like less than a minute later, like 40 seconds later, Corey Perry kind of gives us hope again with his fourth from Gallagher and Sherratt. And then I don't remember the time, like with a minute or two left, uh, Blake Coleman gets an empty netter. That's his third. And um, that's it for that game. Uh, Tampa goes up 3 nothing in the series and doesn't really look good. And, yeah, so Montreal's at home again tonight. Uh, anyway, here's the uh, stats on the game. 35 to 30, that's the shots in favor of Montreal. 51% to 49% for the faceoff. So, again, pretty even. Um, Tampa was one for one on the power play. Montreal 0 for one on the power play. So, just two power plays in the whole game. 
Uh, 46 hits for Lightning and 38 for Montreal. And that's a pretty much a key because Montreal kind of needs to hit them. And um, as uh, Pete in my crew says, soften them up a bit. And uh, they just didn't do it in that game. So hopefully tonight they do a better job. And if you look at the giveaways, the GVA, um, 11 more giveaways for Montreal than the Lightning. And that's a key factor here. Montreal's got to stop the turnovers. It's going to be very important going into this next game. And, um, yeah, so going into this game, before we get into all these stats, Montreal really needs to get off to a fast start. It's key here. And the stats on that are if Montreal gets the first goal, they're 11-2. and two. Um, Tampa's 15-2, and two, I believe. And then if Montreal, if Mont, no, if, yeah, right. So if Montreal gets scored against, I, I think they're one and six. And then if Tampa doesn't get the first goal, they're zero and four. So they haven't won a game yet um, when they haven't when they didn't score the first goal. So this could be key. Montreal get the first goal. So this is very important. Uh, we're gonna look at some stats here, but um, let's let's look at the line changes. Um, here's the announcement. Dominic Ducharme confirms that Jake Evans, Alexander Romanov, and Brett Kulak will be in the lineup tonight. And uh, so they're going to be in there replacing. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be mad at this. Uh, Jesperi Kokanyemi. So that's Evans is in for Kokanyemi, and he's going to center the third line. Um, but the lineup has been tweaked a bit, so that it's juggled. So we'll go over that in a second. And then uh, Kulak and Romanov are in for Gustafson and Merrill, and they will pair up for the third uh, pairing. And uh, I think that's a good move. Um, the Evans move for KK, I'm not sure. Listen, you know what? Ducharme um, has made some good moves. Um, I'm, I'm not going to I'm not gonna berate him here. I'm not going to go uh, and uh, be all upset and angry. Uh, let's see how it works out. Um, Evans might give a little something different. And I think they might have the lineup set up in a way that for specific purposes almost, right? So I think this is a different look lineup for a specific reason. And um, let's see how it works out. Here's the lineup. So we've got Toffoli on the left wing on the first line with Dano and Gallagher. Line two consists of Anderson on the left, Suzuki in the middle, Caulfield on the right. Line three, Byron on the left, Evans in the middle, Lekkonen on the right. And line four, Armia on the left, Stahl in the middle, Perry on the right. So the changes are... Um, on the top three lines, the uh, fourth line is not changed. Uh, the defense is really unchanged except for removing the bottom guys and replacing them. So it's Sherratt Weber, Edmondson Petrie, and Romanov Kulak. And anybody who thought Carey Price was not going to be in that sort tonight, I mean, you're, you're fooling yourself. I mean, really? Carey Price is going all the way. And he's going to be in the Nets tonight. And if they do win tonight, you can guarantee he's going to be in the Nets the rest of the way, too. So uh, Carey Price definitely is going to be Nets. Now, here's a quote. Well, here's something I want to put up. If you stand by your team, that's them, during the bad times, you deserve to be there during the good times. Stay loyal to the Canadians, boys. Stay loyal. And that's important going into tonight. I mean, there's so many people with this. Uh, it's over already. The game's not over yet because it has not been played. Point for now. And uh, game four is the hardest game to win in any series, especially in the finals. So that's that's that goes to Montreal's advantage. If they take advantage of that, they could win here tonight. And if they win here tonight, it could be a different series. It's still a big uphill climb. I'm not saying they're going to do it, but you got to start with one game at a time. So start, if they can win here tonight, you go to the next one and see what happens. So, um, yeah. Okay, so let's look at, um, uh, this is a quote, this is from Brendan Gallagher. Brendan Gallagher on where things went wrong in game three. Obviously, it wasn't the start we wanted. I don't have to explain that. We fell in a hole. We, we responded well. We came out in the second, and we were playing good hockey. But then we made mistakes against a very good hockey team. And they make you pay. They're very op opportunistic. For us, it's just important to not have those lulls in our game, especially when you're playing from behind and you're chasing. We're in a hole. It goes without saying. I can promise you one thing about this group. There won't be any quick. Every single guy is going to show up. And that belief we've talked about all year isn't going anywhere. 
We need to win game four and go from there. That's all our focus is right now. It's all we can control, and that's what we're going to do. Gallagher on the positives the group can bring into Monday night's encounter. You just have to correct the mistakes. You're not going to sit here and take a whole lot of positives. We believe we can play with these guys. We believe we can skate with them. We just haven't shown it enough for a full 60 minutes. We've had sports where, a spurt, excuse me, where everything we've talked about and everything we've done has worked. They're just, uh, there's just some uh, been mistakes in our game. We're playing too good of a hockey team. They're deep everywhere. They're going, they're going to capitalize and they're going to make you pay. The positives are that this team has been in many holes. This team has been doubled, but uh, I've doubted, excuse me, but the character in that locker room isn't going anywhere. We're going to keep competing and keep playing. And in terms of how the games are being played, we need to get better. So, you know, if um, Brendan Gallagher, who's a huge leader on this team, he's not giving up. That's obvious. And, you know, even after the in uh, game three, when I, the game was clearly over, um, they didn't give up. That's why they were able to, to get it to four to two and then to six to three. It's because they didn't give up in a situation that looked hopeless. This, this is a team that doesn't have any quit in them. And if they have that attitude and they can bring that for 60 minutes, they have a chance here. I don't care what anybody says. They have a chance to win this game. This game has to be played before you're going to say it's over. Um, but, but. I want to say this because I said it in my um, Saturday show. Um, if you want your team to get to where they are right now, and that's in the Stanley Cup Finals, and I don't mean down three games to nothing, but I mean in the Stanley Cup Finals. If you want your team to get there, one of the risks of that is, obviously, that they may lose. They may encounter a team that's better than them, and they may lose. They may have – there's a lot of other reasons that could cause that to happen – but that's one of the risks. And if you can't handle that, I don't know what you're doing watching sports because that's a risk, right? So for all the people who are, you know, losing their minds over the fact that Montreal might lose, sorry, but um, I want, I'll take that risk in order to have this happen. I mean, you know, in the finals to see the chance to win, I'll take the risk of losing. Anyways, that's my say on what could happen here tonight? And I know people are going to go crazy in this city. Either way, if they win or lose tonight, they're going to go crazy. But anyway, that's my point. Let's take a look at some of the stats for tonight's game. Let's see if I got the right ones. Okay, so um, this is Tampa Bay's um, roster. I mean, they're scoring. Uh, you can see they're uh, powerful on offense. Their offense is is almost impossible to um, to hold back. So uh, Kucherov with his 32 points, Braden Point 23 points, Stamkos 18 points, Hedman 18 points, Killorn 17. But Killorn, he's a game time decision again. He might play, might not. Um, so I don't know. Palat 13 points, and he's been really like um, bad for Montreal. He's got a couple, two, three like important goals or assists in this series already. Uh, Blake Coleman, uh, 10 points. Chernak, 10 points. So you see, they've got a lot of players in double digits. Let's take a look at Montreal. Montreal's not the same thing. We got four. Uh, Suzuki, which is, there's a great sign. You're looking at it right there. Nick Suzuki leading this team, 20 games, seven goals, eight assists, 15 points. That minus five is not the best stat there, but I mean, don't worry about that. It's 0.75 points a game in the playoffs in his second year. This is great. These are the things that if Montreal does lose here that we have to take out. And, you know, these are the positives that we have looking going forward. Toffoli with his 14 points. Caulfield, 18 games, uh, four goals, six assists, 10 points as a rookie. Awesome. Those numbers are going to improve. I'm almost positive on, on that. And you got to take that and look forward. Um, so you can see that Montreal is clearly outmatched offensively going into this series and as it happens as the series playing out. Um, uh, I'm going to look at uh, goalie numbers. So um, 
going into this series, Carey Price was off the wall amazing. Um, as far as Vasilevsky goes, I didn't see the games, but I have to say after seeing him play against Montreal, he was the same. It seems that Carey Price either hit a wall or, like, I don't know what the explanation is. I'm hoping that that can turn around tonight because Carey Price could be the absolute key here. So let's just go over the numbers. Um, Vasilevsky, 15 and 6. A 194 goals against and a 938 save percentage. Price 12 and 8. A 236 goals against and a 921 save percentage. Still great numbers. Um, and he can turn that around very easily here with a great game. And I say very easily. That's a laugh. I shouldn't say very easily. That's not fair to carry Price. Um, this is not an easy team to turn that around on. And uh, but he's capable. And if that can happen, we have a chance here. So there you go for that. Here are the general numbers going in. So the power play for Tampa is 36.7%, second overall in the playoffs, 20.4% for Montreal, eighth. Penalty kill is 83%, uh, which is what they came into the series with for, uh, for fourth. Montreal is down three points at 90.6%, still an awesome number, Um uh, and first overall in the uh, playoffs. And you had to know that their penalty kill numbers were going to come down a little bit because um, Tappa's power play is just like off the wall great. Face-off percentage, 48% for Tampa. That's just uh, 11th, and it's up just, I think, 0.3 of a percent uh, coming in. 49.4 for Montreal. Uh, that's ninth, and I think that's up or the same. It's like up by 0.1, but it's basically the same. Goals four per game, 3.43 for Tampa, that's second in the playoffs, 2.40 for Montreal, and it's been dropping. Uh, that's 12th in these playoffs. Goals against uh, per game, 2.00 from uh, Tampa, first overall in the playoffs, and 2.55 for Montreal, fourth in the playoffs, something keeping them going. Um, let's see, so Tampa Bay is 15-6. and six. In the playoffs, and Montreal is 12 and 8. Players to watch over the last five games for points. Braden Point has five. Suzuki has five. Goals. Kucherov with three. Suzuki with three. Assists. Point with four. Weber with two. And plus minus. Palat plus six. And Dino plus two. I gave the um, goalie stats. So that's all there is for that. All right. So my thoughts on the game. Montreal has to find a way to recreate what they were doing in period two of game two, obviously before that last second goal, because they were dominating Tampa. And if they can manage to find a way to do that in this game, um, at least for good portions of the game, um, they can win here. They absolutely need to score for his goal here tonight. Um, get off to a good, fast start, get Tampa on their heels right away, and um, just do that and do what they were doing in period two of game two. Um, the defense has to play a little tighter here. Um, the addition of Romanov, Romanov and um, Kulak, I think, will add also a little bit more physicality uh, from the back end. I hope uh, to see some more of those Big hits that Romanov gave to uh, Alex Pietrangelo against the Knights. I'd love to see that. Uh, so I think that's one of the things he can bring here. And um, just overall more physical play. And I think better I think better overall play by Kulak and by Romanov than we were getting from Merrill and Gustafsson, especially in these – well, in this Stanley Cup final anyway. So I hope that makes a big difference. Carey Price is going to have to – find a way to stop some of those goals that are going in that, you know, we're saying that aren't his fault. He's going to have to find a way to stop those because uh, literally Vasilevsky is doing that or the, the, their defense is giving those chances to them, right? So I we have to do the same thing here. Price is going to be a key to winning this game. I mean, uh, duh, right? Carry Price is going to be a key here. So uh, And special teams. PK must shut down the power play of the Tampa Bay Lightning tonight. Must do it. And Montreal must stay out of the box. 
So that's got to be a combination that must happen. And Montreal, if you get a power play, you got to capitalize. I mean, you got to ma- find a way to make that work. You you know, you just have to. Special teams can be a very big key here. And uh, mm-hmm. let's see if that, that works tonight. Um, I, I, the, the line juggling, the, the line changes that were made, uh, let's go with that for a sec. So uh, I get what they're trying to do. We're trying to get a little bit more scoring up front on that first line with Deneau and Gallagher adding to Foley in there. I think Toffoli could be a key here. He's been very quiet in this uh, finals, and he's going to need to uh, get on the board for us. Uh, Anderson, Suzuki, Caulfield, you're adding a little more um, uh, speed, I guess, to that line. And, um, yeah, I think that um, – I, I just – I like that. I like that combination. I'm not sure how Anderson plays on the left side, but um, I think that uh, we got to look at that line and say you guys got to – Put some pucks in the net tonight. Evans on the third line center, replacing KK. This is going to be key. It's a, a bit of pressure on Evans to do that. But in a game like this where like their chances are low, I don't know how big the pressure is. I like Evans. I think he brings a different dynamic than KK, obviously. And, um, you know, I'm not going to argue against it. I feel bad for KK. Um, I don't really think he deserves to be out of this but it's the coach's decision, so let's make the best of it. Byron and Lekkonen on his wings, some speed, some good defensive play. Uh, this could be a shutdown line. Armia Stahl Perry, same as they've been doing. Hopefully they can get that scoring touch back, uh, especially with Armia, and gives us two really good defensive lines and um, two good shorthanded goal possibility lines. I don't know how to say it any other way. And, um, yeah, some really good experience there. So hopefully that'll make a, um, you know, with the last line change, this could be a big thing. Um, no changes on the defense except adding Romanov and Kulak. I just said what I thought about that. Carry Price in net, of course. I mean, of course, Carry Price in net. I mean, how? why not? Um, who would have thought anything else? Now, it's time for my Guess the Score contest. So uh, before I say, I just want to remind everybody, please, Come to the pregame show at 7 o'clock and my uh, Game 4 Live Hangout at 8 o'clock. Hope to see you there. We're going to have a good time, especially if they win. <laughs> so <laughs> go have go. So time for my guess the score. Yes, guess the score of the game and the first goal scorer of the game, and you could win $10 directly into your bank account via Interact. So give your guess in the um, in the uh, comment section. And by fir- first goal score, it doesn't have to come from Montreal. First goal scorer of the game, either team you can pick from, but you need both of those things, the goal scorer and the guest for the score of the game, and you can win the $10. So here's mine. Time for mine. Drum roll. (sighs) Okay, so Montreal has scored three. So it's possibility that they can score four and get it into overtime maybe and do that. Uh, They cannot give Tampa more than three goals. They cannot. So... um, I don't know how they give Tampa less. <laughs> so uh, f- four to three. I think it has to be four to three for Montreal to win tonight. Uh, it could be obviously a different story. I get that, but this is where I'm going. First goal, Tyler Toffoli needs to wake up in this series. We need him. We need his goal scoring. Let's get it tonight, first goal. So I've got four three Montreal. Tyler Toffoli with the first goal. If that happens, we go on to a game five. Like I said, let me know in the comment section. Your guess for that, and you get a chance to um, to uh, win ten dollars directly in your bank account via Interact. All right, so uh, give a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave the comment in the comment section about anything I said here. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, ring that notifications bell. That'll get you your daily fix of Blue Bond Rouge right here at Talking Habs. And the funny thing about all of this is that I tried to make this video 15 minutes or less. And we are at 24 minutes. I apologize. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thumbs up if you like the video. Leave a comment in the comment section. Um, subscribe, ring the notifications bell. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Peace out, y'all. See you at the pregame show tonight. Bye, everybody. Go, Abs, go.